So it's past midnight. I'm standing on the shore of the Rio Grande. The water is right behind me. I'm down on the Texas border, along with 18 senators. We made the trip to see the crisis that is playing out. We've already gone to detention facilities that are overrun, many of them with families, small children. We saw multiple mothers who were nursing infant babies who had just crossed over and were being housed in outdoor holding pens where they were sleeping on the floor and nursing their babies. We're at the edge of the river. On the other side of the river is Mexico. On the other side of the river we have been listening to and seeing cartel members, human traffickers, right on the other side of the river, waving flashlights, yelling and taunting Americans, taunting the Border Patrol, because they know that under the current policy of the Biden administration, they can flood over here. They're getting paid four or $5,000 a person to smuggle them into this country. And our policies, when they smuggle them in, the Biden administration releases them. And more and more and more. Last month, 100,000 people came across the border illegally. We've got 15,000 kids in federal government custody. This is a humanitarian crisis. It's a public health crisis. The illegal immigrants who are being released, they're testing positive for COVID-19 at a seven times higher rate than the American population. And it's a national security crisis. And it's time for the Biden administration to put an end to it and stop sanctioning lawless chaos on our southern border.